Hi everybody, it's Eugene Lee Show, and today I'd like to show you how you can capture uh, high-resolution panoramic images with your Ferrofocus scanner uh, using the lowest possible settings so that you can uh, capture at a very, very, uh, or at least at the quickest speed as possible. Now, as many of you know, um, when you're scanning with the scanner, and let's say you're at a, a quarter res or, or one-fifth resolution, the resultant panoramic image that you get, that scene stitches together, is dependent on the resolution that you've scanned at. So, um, knowing that, uh, what you can do is create a very high resolution panoramic image using a very low resolution scan and so I'm going to show you how to do this and um, it's a little trick but uh, for some of you it may be useful I don't know um, I've got three scans here and I'll, and I'll sort of flip through them here so the first one here is a one-to-one -one scan of this room okay and the second one is the same room except I've changed the lighting a little bit and it's it's lower resolution uh, in fact it's one thirty second uh, resolution so it's the lowest it's the first time I've ever scanned on my scanner at the lowest resolution but um, that's what it looks like and then the third one is an outdoor scan also at the uh, lowest resolution 132nd and I'll show you what I'm talking about so let me go back to the first one so this was a one-to-one -one, uh, scan and I'm gonna right click on this go to the properties and we're gonna go to the scan area and you'll see here that it's at one-to-one -one, and it's at the lowest possible quality setting and um, so uh, this took, I think, um, it may have taken about uh, half an hour or I can't remember if it was 15 minutes or half an hour, but it, it didn't take the full two hours um, to scan. So, um, And you certainly wouldn't want to go and scan two hours everywhere just to get a high resolution scan. But you need one scan, okay, which is at a high resolution. It could be a half res scan, it could be a quarter res scan, it could be whatever you want, but it just needs to be higher than whatever it else, uh, whatever else it is you're capturing. And uh, the other thing is you don't need to do it at the same time. You could borrow any half res or full res scan that you have laying around. So you can save the time and you don't have to do it uh, in, you know, in the field or wherever you're, whatever it is that you're trying to capture. So the second scan uh, is this one here. And I'll just show you. It's, it's this 001 uh, scan that I've done. And I'll come down and I'll show you that in the scan area. Um, it's a 132nd resolution scan and uh, uh, you know I turned the slider like way down here so it's low quality the lowest quality you can possibly get um, of course you will never want to scan that way if you're wanting to use the 3d data however uh, if you're just worried about the images and you just want panoramic images this is the fastest way to capture them and the uh, the last one here the PT002 uh, this is an outdoor scan and this one also has as you'll see a very uh, the lowest possible settings for the scanner okay so what's the trick well here's the trick um, since it's dependent on how scene stitches the images together we can just piggyback off of a high resolution scan and substitute the photos and that's really um, what I'm doing here so I have a folder here called pictures under the uh, PT000. Now I created this one here called Photos Back. So um, if if it's a scan that you want to keep the photos, you can create a new folder and then just copy them in. And I, I mean, it's not that hard to do. Just right click, go to New, and go to Folder. Uh, call the folder whatever you want, and then just shift click the pictures. Uh, shift click and to select them all and then control click and drag them to photos back and they'll just I'm not going to do it but um, it'll just it'll just go in there okay now I obviously screwed something up here because I've got another set of pictures here but it doesn't matter I'm going to delete these anyway so what you need to do now is go into the pictures folder of the high risk scan and delete out all those photographs okay so I'm going to do that and hit delete say so, yeah wipe them all out so now I have an empty pictures folder now I'm going to borrow uh, I'm going to take the outdoor, this PT002, and let's say I want a high resolution scan, uh, excuse me, a high resolution panoramic image of this outdoor scene, and I'll show you that it's actually not uh, all that high resolution here. If I go into this corner, uh, you'll see it's rather uh, pixelated and jagged and everything else. Um, but now what I do is open up the folder, go to pictures, I'm going to shift click on these to select them all. 
and I'm going to just click, drag, and drop into the pictures folder. Let me try that again. I lost the selection. There we go. And now just click, drag into pictures, and now in my pictures folder for PT000, I've got all my other pictures from PT002. So I've put the outdoor pictures on the indoor uh, scan. So now all I need to do is reapply these. Actually what I'll do is I'll switch back to the uh, planar view for the indoor scene. I'm going to right click, go to operations, color pictures, and just go apply pictures. Now since this is a uh, full resolution scan, this is probably going to take a little bit of time, maybe a couple or a few minutes. So I'm just going to hit pause at the moment and I will let this go and um, I'll uh, come back when it's all done. Okay so it's just uh, finishing up the colorizing process so I thought I'd just jump back in before it's done so you can see the switch uh, on my screen. I still have the um, the room uh, photo photos applied to the scan but uh, once this gets complete you'll see that it's going to apply the outdoor scan um, to this uh, uh, this indoor scene uh, which is kind of cool and um, what I'll show you after that is actually just how to export the images uh, it's not a big deal but um, I just I did notice that the one-to-one -one, um, panoramic images are massive they're, they're really really big so okay here it's just coming up now in a second uh, this window will come away and okay so there we go so um, what I'll do is I'll just tab the two images together uh, so you can see the difference. So this is the low res scan. You can see that it's all jagged and such. And I'm going to just slide this over so we can get a sense of where we are here. How about this here? So we go into this corner and you'll see it's much higher resolution than um, the low resolution scan. So uh, at this point, if I want to just export, all I need to do is um, uh, right click on the uh, scan the high resolution scan go to operate um, operations color pictures and just export cover overlay uh, export color overlay and when I do that now I've done this already so it's not a big deal but you'll see that the uh, these icons here are all bitmap so the PT000 swapped outdoor scan that's the one that I did um, it is uh, 1.96 gigabytes so the panoramic image is really really large um, when I I thought I had one here that was uh, swapped out already as a uh, as a JPEG image. Oh yeah, it's because I'm just saving this. So let me just switch back to, uh, let me cancel the save for a second and go to my folder here. There it is. So I've got one here, um, which is a JPEG image. And this image here, uh, when it pops up, is 39.5 megabytes. So there you go. Um, but you can see the dimensions of this image. It's uh, 41,136 by 17,067. It's a very, very big panoramic image. So um, hopefully, uh, for some of you, this may be useful. Uh, those of you that are, are doing a lot of work with panoramic images or you want to use it in um, some other application, um, this is a neat little trick that you can use to take very low resolution scans, uh, the lowest possible resolution scans, apply them to a high resolution um, scan, and um, colorize that scan with those pictures, and bang, you got a high resolution panoramic image. So, hope that helps, and uh, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.